Hi guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Blitz Tech here, and we're talking to you guys a lot more in 2017 about what I'm currently playing, the trophy lists on those games, because I'm a trophy list hunter, and upcoming titles within the month and whatever comes to mind. We are live. So let's kick it off. As you can tell, what I'm currently playing is Titanfall 2. For guys that don't know what Titanfall is, Titanfall 2 is a first person shooter video game developed by the guys at Respawn Entertainment and published by EA. Well, I'm split between two halves there because the guys at Respawn are the guys who brought us the Modern Warfare series from Call of Duty and as you guys know it's probably one of the best first person shooting series in all of time to be honest, I can't imagine anything else beating that for Modern, for Modern Warfare 1. It kind of got weaker towards number 3, but there you go, it happens. And EA, and I don't like EA too much to be honest. They got some dirty skins up their sleeve, but hey ho, it's a good game, so check it out. I'm enjoying it right now. I'll go for me at Christmas, and I was just joining the Christmas noobs. And I've got to say, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It is super interesting. I never got to play the first alliteration of the game. That was an Xbox exclusive. I'm not really an Xbox guy myself. PlayStation only. Blup, blup. So by the time I'm probably posting this video, I'll be f the story will probably be finished for me. So far, so good. The story is fantastic. These guys just know how to make awesome set pieces. I just don't know where they get their ideas from. It is completely nuts. Don't know what they do, but they're doing it well. I'm glad that I'm going to pick up this game. I don't want to spoil too much for you guys about the story, but it needs to be seen. It needs to be played. It is fantastic. So on the other hand, we've got multiplayer. Again, fast-paced, fun. The kind of things you expect from a Call of Duty game. Don't know what they're doing with their lives right now, but Titanfall is where it's at. Unfortunately, it did have a kind of messed up release window between Battlefront 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare this year and it's been shafted basically so it didn't do the numbers boy just support the game this game is super awesome we need to see number three because I can see that the guys at Respawn Studio do have a vision for this game and to see that vision they need to make the numbers or EA is just not going to let them have it and they need to get this stuff out they are awesome they're super super legit guys so onto the trophy list of this game man this game is like super easy like again i think these guys are just aiming for the fun aspect of the game i have not struggled i put on the highest difficulty and i can't say i struggled too much it was just enough to get me frustrated but at the same time i never felt like i was ever stuck at one point all parts of the story are all enjoyable even on the highest difficulty, not a problem. Other parts of the uh, trophy list just kind of make you want to do things here and there that you might not do, bring you out of your comfort zone just a tad a little bit, but again, it's nothing too major. So, yeah, it's a really enjoyable trophy list. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a fun trophy list. I actually enjoy doing the things that I have to go and collect, and I actually see myself getting a platinum on this game. So, I'd say if you're like a trophy list hunter and you're on getting an easy, not an easy platinum, this is like an average platinum I'd say, but yeah, I'd say you'd probably have a lot of fun even getting this. It's not too heavily dependent on multiplayer, which I love. I guess they understand that. It's just the easy ones where you just win like a multiplayer match, you join the network, and there's another one which is super easy. Literally, you can't miss the multiplayer ones. I'm glad that they understand that people do not like multiplayer trophies, but I'm guessing they're just trying to suck people in a little bit. So they make you, they tease you a little bit, go on, go play a multiplayer. You go and play it, and before you know it, you're like, damn, this is a lot of fun and just stuck. You're going to be playing this one player for, for a long time. And that's, that's their plan. You could kind of tell easy multiplayer on trophy list, easy, good multiplayer, good story. It's, it's an all around, all win-win. So let's go on to the next point. Is there anything coming out in January? Boy, for the, the fans who are on this channel, you guys know there's something dropping on the 24th of January and that's Kingdom Hearts 2.8 HD. 
Whew. And I think this game will keep me playing until then. I'm pretty sure I'll get a pattern by then. But yeah, that's that game. When that game is dropped, whoa, I can't wait. You know, really can't wait. It's just going to be the one. I just, there's so much hype on that game. I just hope they really have disappoint. I doubt that they will. I never really got to play the the version that was released on the uh, DS. The Kingdom Hearts that was released on the DS. So I'm kind of glad I get to play that now. Seeing the the, the stuff that they've done with 0.2. That looks fantastic. The graphics look like they're out of this world. And I can't really wait for Kingdom Hearts 3. Unfortunately, I would have rather had that. But if this is what they want to tease us with for now, fine. I'll part up with it. I'll buy a copy. And like I said, now we get to see a little bit more story before Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. And yeah, that's my big hit for January this month. And I can't wait. Guys, I'm also going to drop a little video of my most anticipated um, games for this year. So you should also hold on to that. Let me know in any comments what you think to be any... Uh, what's your games anticipated for this year? I'm pretty sure you guys have got loads to talk about. Well, you guys can see on my video what I think are going to be must-buys. Well, for me, anyway, personally, uh, that are day one. Also, it won't be the same taste as you guys, but, oh, uh, well, everyone's different. I'm certainly a different kind of person. I love my beat-em-ups, and this seems to be the year for beat-em-ups. 2016 had its ups and downs. It was a good year, but I'm looking forward to 2017. Like I could just tell already there's some hidden gems in some development studios right now where they haven't quite told us the release dates but i'm looking forward to them i know they're around the corner they're just going to drop it us on us like bombs they usually do this sneaky guys but um yeah 2017 i'm looking forward to it there's gonna be some nice releases i really can't wait so guys if you want to find me mr blitz tech come and check me out on instagram and twitter at Mr. Blitz Tech. For those that want to keep it cyber nerdy, find the team at Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, even Twitch. Joe's on there all the time, almost reaching breaking point. He is hilarious. Check him out. I might be there. Raven might be there. The whole team are having a party, just chatting away, enjoying the gameplay. It's fun. It's hilarious. Don't forget to comment below. Tell me what you think, your ideas. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot more content this year coming your way for you guys. I know you guys love it. And guys, I'll see you on the next level.